Okay, hi. The question was, do I need a website for my business? Well, let's put it to you this way. Uh, basically, I've advised hundreds of small business owners and startup founders over the years. And I can honestly tell you that businesses that are online, meaning they have professionally developed websites that engage SEO, search engine optimization, that engage in content marketing strategies, that have free giveaways for their ideal consumers, that really take digital marketing seriously. These businesses on average consistently every time will get more leads, more phone calls, more in-store visits, more visits at their restaurant or business or whatever the case may be. This is not just my opinion. This is research that's been done over and over again with businesses throughout the United States of America, that businesses that engage digital marketing using web design, SEO, social media, content marketing, these businesses will outperform businesses that do not engage in these services. And you can certainly go into the reasons why do small businesses not use digital marketing or use only certain components of it and not others. And it's all well and good. But businesses that do use web development and have professional websites as opposed to do-it-yourself, kind of empty template generator things, these businesses do much better and they make more money. And money is not happiness is not in and of itself but the idea of starting a business is to make more money and be able to support a family and if you can't do that then what's the point yes you can express yourself but you have to be able to pay bills so the answer is yes if you have a website basically if you have a business that you care about and you want to make money for and through then you need a professional website with SEO, content marketing, social media channel distribution, content for the website to distribute, such as like what I'm doing right here. And I'm sure your videos would be a lot better than mine. Um, but yeah, seriously, you do have to have a website. It's 2019. If someone looks up a business, they don't take out a big, massive Yellow Pages phone book anymore. They take out their phone, they go to Google, in some cases they just speak it, and they look for business within their city and their state. So if we know that more people use their phones to find businesses and conduct business, and we know that the majority of businesses are online, of course you'd want to be online. So the short answer is yes. The long answer is how do you budget? How do you tell good from bad? Um, how do you tell what your design should be? And the answers to all of those questions are basically you work with professionals, you look for credentials, affiliations, and education, and testimonials and references. And you look at your competitors in large major metropolitan cities to see what they're doing. On the basis of what they're doing, that's how you know what you should be doing. And if there's a small company, if you're in a small town and there's other small companies who aren't online, then you want to look at those in nearby cities. When I work with clients, I traditionally go to LA, New York, Toronto, Boston, major metropolitan cities, and I would look at uh, what are these businesses or these service providers doing in these cities in terms of design, in terms of how they are managing to get ranking in Google search results? I look at them and then I apply it to people who would live in smaller cities and who want to be competitive. And then we break it down from there. So I hope that helps. If you have questions or need help even more, please visit me at dms.blue. And you can also give me a call at 424-DAVID-01. You'll get my Google Voice number, and I usually respond back to uh, people within a day or two. So I hope that helps. Thank you for asking. Have a great day.